Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, one of the main goal of my YouTube channel is to break down individual cooking steps in stir frying. Uh, this will allow me to show you how template based cooking works. Uh, this will make home cooking more fun and creative. In this video, I will demonstrate the basic steps as well as the individual components in creating a teriyaki sauce, which is one of the most popular sauce in stir frying. A teriyaki sauce, without any question, is one of the most favorite sauce in our family. I created many different variations of this basic sauce. I use teriyaki sauce in chicken, shrimp, beef, and vegetables. I use four basic ingredients to create a teriyaki sauce. They are oyster sauce to give savoriness to the dish. The next is the hoisin sauce, which provides sweetness to the dish as well as a fruity flavor. These two sauces are the foundation of the teriyaki sauce. To increase the saltiness of the sauce, I use a dark soy sauce, which not only to provide saltiness but also give the sauce a smoky flavor. I then use uh, just the common white sugar to add further sweetness to the sauce. These are the four basic components to create a teriyaki sauce. Lastly, if I want to thicken the sauce, I will use cornstarch. In this video, I'm going to uh, create a teriyaki sauce for chicken that is very typical find in restaurants. And the flavor of this sauce is intense, and it is also thick that cling to the food ingredients. Okay, let's go into the kitchen, and I will walk you through uh, the each individual steps. Uh, for this dish, I'm going to cook about 8 ounces of chicken that are already thinly sliced. Uh, I'm going to coat the chicken with a thin layer of cornstarch. I'm going to cook the chicken first with a method simply known as shallow frying. Uh, this method is basically use a small amount of cooking oil. You fry the chicken on one side and then turn it over and to fry the other side. Uh, by using only a small amount of cooking oil, you can create charring on the surface of the chicken. Uh, this will provide wok chi on the chicken. Uh, you can take a look at this video about wok chi. Uh, to create the basic flavor of the teriyaki sauce, I first by adding approximately one tablespoon of oyster sauce, and this is followed by half tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Here I use a ratio of two parts of oyster sauce to one part of hoisin sauce. Uh, you can vary the ratio that to create different flavor signature of your teriyaki sauce. Also, by varying the quantity of the sauce that you add, uh, you can uh, adjust the intensity of the flavor. As you notice here, uh, both of these sauces uh, create a glaze on the surface of the chicken uh, because they both contain cornstarch. Uh, quite often, this is where I'm going to stop, uh, particularly if I want to create just a light sauce. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to go a little bit further to create a restaurant-style thick sauce. First, I'm going to add a small amount of water from a water bottle directly over the area that some of the sauce might have stuck and burned to the surface of the wok. This will help to dissolve them and return the flavor back to the dish. By this time, it is important that you turn the heat of the stove to low because you don't want to overcook the chicken. To create a restaurant-style teriyaki sauce, I first add some dark soy sauce and they will uh, deepen the color of the dish, also increase its saltiness. And there are two kinds of dark soy sauce. One is just a basic dark soy sauce. Another one is what they call a mushroom dark soy sauce. Uh, either one of them will work. Uh, you can find them in the most Asian uh, grocery stores. If not, you can always buy them online. However, it is more expensive. Uh, you don't need to add very much, and you can experiment how much that you would like to add. The next part is the sugar. In the restaurant style teriyaki sauce, the balance between the saltiness and the sweetness of the sauce is what makes the sauce so attractive. Instead of sugar, you can use honey instead. And my friend Joe uh, swear that the honey tastes much better. The next part is thicken the sauce with cornstarch. 
And by this point, I turn off the stove completely. I'm going to directly sprinkle the cornstarch over the food ingredients. I use the wok spatula to mix the contents thoroughly. Uh, turning off the heat is important uh, because this will prevent the cornstarch from clumping. I usually start out with a small amount of cornstarch and I add more uh, if I want it to be thicker. Uh, this might take a little bit of uh, experimentation uh, in the beginning. However, if you worry about the cornstarch from clumping, you can first uh, make a water suspension. So this sauce is what I will call typically a restaurant style teriyaki sauce. And the sauce cling to the food ingredients and create a strong flavor. So this is one way for me to create a teriyaki sauce, but I have also other versions which I will show you in future videos. So as you can see in this video, there are two components of my fast cooking system in action. First by using template-based cooking in creating the basic aspect of this sauce. And secondly, through flavor chasing, you can modify the characteristics of this sauce. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post video every day to help people to have a better understanding as well as the adoption of my fast cooking system. And to learn how to apply flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. I will see you tomorrow.